to us With our mouth bridging and collide such and guess it's all From transsexual. I'm not a sweet trans. Transylvania. You never know. Stop spreading these rumors. <laughs> not right now. Not right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I've seen that movie in full. I feel like I've seen that's the so, ending. That's. I, I'm going to put it I on. Could, <laughs> well, I'm going to take a guess and say, no, you haven't, but you've listened to a podcast about it. But that <laughs> is. That's just. That's such a tragedy because it's so much fun. Did you do the wild things where they, uh, where all the people throw stuff on stage and they scream condiments? And the stuff? wild they, things. They scream, I mean, I, they I, scream I, condiments. Catch up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's stuff like you're supposed to throw toast during the wedding part. Okay. Um, yeah, that stuff like that. Uh, <laughs> I went to one show where they did do some things, but I never actually went to like the official midnight showing. Uh, New Moon City, mm-hmm. um, where they do it like according to how you're supposed to. I've never done that. Crazy. My parents by, did by the religion. In the, uh, 80s. Yes, by the religion, the religion of Rocky Horror. <laughs> People go nutty, professor, for that. Mm-hmm. What really would be do. the um, cross for that religion, the Rocky Horror religion? It it would be a it would be a silhouette of Tim Curry in the corset. And he's doing the Jesus pose, but one leg is kicked out, like, <laughs> like flamboyantly. I, you had that so ready. It's like you thought of this before. <laughs> you're like, oh my! In, I your, did, head, I, in your head, you're like, oh my god! Somebody answer. finally asked. <laughs> <laughs> I did answer that very quickly. <laughs> so here's what type of metal you're go- gonna want to use for that uh, layout. <laughs> Listen, guys, I've spent so much time thinking about this. <laughs> <laughs> the, ch- the Church of Rocky. <laughs> uh, uh, we, oh, we get man. a lot of uh, accidental converts, though. They think it's uh, Balboa. So uh, mm-hmm. it's always... It's a, it's a bunch of, like, aggro Italian dudes from Philadelphia. And believe it or not, a good portion of them stay. <laughs> yeah, they're beautiful people. Yeah, beautiful people. <laughs> yeah, that's the... That's, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, he does say the beautiful people. I thought it was the opposite. What in that song? Yeah, I thought he sang about like it's the almost, ugly it's people. It's almost the entire song. Yeah, it's basically the only lyrics of that whole song. And uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Uh, can you just open your mouth for a little bit? I got to check in there. Aww. Oh, perfect. Wow. <laughs> I should use that sound on stage. I'll become the most famous weirdo there is. Be a nice title. Oh, legendary Manson. weirdo. Yeah, it's true. I'd take it. Sykes is pretty legendary weirdo. Hey, I, that's I've I've gotten pretty far. So yeah, I'll take it. I'm that's good. true. Let's do it. I, you're not as weird as Marilyn Manson, but you know you're probably pretty close. No, you could get there. I'm. I mean, he he's done. He's done tapped me so. Yeah, I would say so. I'll, That's I'll certainly. Let, let him take that. Silver's yeah. good. Actually, I wouldn't even. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know if I'd make it into the metal competition. I don't think so. Who are some other like big time weirdos? Just, oh, I mean, man. would like R- Rob Zombie or <laughs> Allison Cooper? Count? Yeah, Rob Zombie, Alice, I guess. Allison. <laughs> Allison. I threw, I threw, Allison I threw, Allison I Cooper. A, I threw an O N on the end of that one. <laughs> Uh-huh. That's his daughter. She's like Gallagher too, but it's just Lady <laughs> Alice Cooper. Um, Carrot Top. I I don't I mean, know. I he, he's pretty weird, but he's also like super buff and stuff. So, yeah, so you can't say that, or else he'll beat you up. <laughs> I guess. Apparently, he doesn't like being called Carrot Top. Oh, what's what what what's uh, his name? Mister Top. <laughs> no, I think his name is like Sean or something like that. Oh, well, Sean, no, he, no he, he can't call him Sean because then people just be like, oh, Sean White. Because, you know, they're both. He looks he def- like Sean that would White. definitely happen, yeah. Because they're both gingers. Sean White's been famous for a long ass time. Sean White's yeah, like Sean. semi-famous. I actually just watched uh, some YouTube's uh, things. Mm-hmm. It was like X Games videos. You watched? It was. Okay, yeah, gotcha. Yeah, yeah it was... Um, it was like the best of past 25 years or mm-hmm. some shit. I don't know like when their mm-hmm. 25 year thing was, but 
uh, it was one of them was uh, all the skateboard stuff, and oh, he was nice. on one of them, like one of his runs he did. Yeah, yeah, yep. Like and it's like they played his whole run, and, and I'm like, God, he he was pretty fucking good. <laughs> oh man, and to think that he was better at snowboarding. Yeah, it's he's, insane. Or is I mean I don't know if he's I done. Know he, but yeah, I, I didn't know he did skateboarding. I, I, yeah, I don't know if he still like competes like that, doing both. Yeah, I don't know. That's got to be such a like so much punishment on your body yeah well tony hawk yeah. still he does like casual yeah he's still casual oh, skating he still skates but he doesn't compete no i i watched um i, I followed tony hawk on uh well, I, I call him tony we're friends um, <laughs> to his house i followed tony hawk yeah exactly <laughs> on uh instagram and he skates pretty regularly still and he still got it like damn he really moves well and so I, do like he skates with like Bucky Lasick and Rodney Mullen all the time. And I those just guys uh, I just watched something for Andy him. Mac. I follow him on YouTube too, and I just watched him and uh, Bucky. They were doing like the, it was like they challenged each other each other to do uh, tricks that they haven't done in a long time. Yeah, it was, and they were they looked. I mean, Tony Hawk might live forever. Simple, but they're not. <laughs> it was good. I think. I think he's like he, 51 or 52 made, now. It's crazy. Yeah, but he made it look like easy, the tricks he did. Yeah. Like, oh, he, yeah. He was like, oh, it was like an Indy 5, and he just like did it no problem. So, wow. Indy 5 is like, you're grabbing something, right? Like an Indy 540? Yeah, it's when yeah. you... Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> one and a half <laughs> spins while board. you grab the front of your board. Yeah, you just grab it and you go, huh? Indy! <laughs> yeah, you have to scream it. <laughs> you have to say it. There's and a dog in Indiana. It, oh. If you say it long enough, Harrison Ford will show up. Oh, nice. Yeah, you gotta With get a real bull whip. You gotta get real. Oh no. Real air for that though. I feel like mm-hmm. Harrison Ford would. Uh, I'd be afraid if he had a whip. Yeah, I would be pretty terrified. He seems like a grouchy old man. Yeah, he's like, definitely. He doesn't really seem like a guy you'd want to like chill with. Even when he was means. young, he seemed like a grouchy old man. I think oh, he, I think yeah. he might have had, he j- I, he might have just not liked interviews. I mean, that's definitely possible, but I feel like there's quite a few fan stories of him going to like conventions or. He stuff was in a garbage he, can. <laughs> 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 he kept telling everybody his name was Oscar. <laughs> that's what you come to RLF for. Yeah. Sesame Street humor. Damn right. <laughs> I feel like there's not enough of it on here. That was probably one of the best parody videos SNL did when they did the Oscar the Grouch origin story. Oh my god! Styled like the styled like the Joker yes. with uh, David Harbor. So funny. <laughs> so funny. That was one of the best sketches from last season or whenever it happened. Yeah, whatever season. Who knows? Yeah. Whatever it was in time and space. <laughs> I feel like this whole COVID experience. Has made time speed up and then simultaneously slow. Like the days are horribly long, but the months are like astoundingly short. Like the yeah. summer is over and it's been over for a couple weeks already. Right. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, like I'm I'm wearing jeans. Yeah. And I was not ready for it. No. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> like one day it was it's like. Not I like it was a switch or one or two days yeah one day i woke up and i'm like yeah. oh man i i can't put shorts on <laughs> it's chilly this? outside yeah. so i had to find where my pants <laughs> were i don't want to look like a douchebag right <laughs> <laughs> no i just didn't want to be everyone cold. knows everyone knows if you wear shorts when it's cold you're a douchebag <laughs> <laughs> immediately <laughs> you can't explain it hey look at that douchebag <laughs> No, I left my baby in the car. Mm. What a (laughs) douchebag. The longer you pause, the funnier it is for me. Um, I remember in high school there was these two kids who were on the basketball team, and they made a bet to see who could wear shorts the longest. Because they also... So I walked to high school every morning with our dear friend Jack. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. And they were on the... like. At a certain point during the walk to school, we would mm-hmm. we would like cross paths with them, and sometimes we would talk, sometimes we wouldn't. They, they were like nice guys or whatever. Right. But uh, they had made a bet with each other to see who would wear shorts for the longest, because you know 
it's not like fucking Alaska by any means, but it does get pretty cold in the winters. Right. And these two dudes wore shorts the entire year, even when it snowed. Damn. I, I, I got to give them credit. Like, it was it was pretty crazy. I did not expect them to actually go f- through with it for the whole year. Made them hearty. Yeah. I think yeah. senior year, I wore shorts every day, but really? I wasn't outside for that long. Like, somebody would pick me up, and then I'd run outside into the car. Did you have snow? Yeah, it would yeah. snow, but like I wasn't, I wasn't out in the snow, playing in it. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't. Out. So oh, he's just making snow this. angels with his with his dickies and his vans on. <laughs> I have freezer. No, nah, this was before the uh, the dickies. This was the uh, like the shitty camouflage ones oh. that I had. Cargo pants. Oh my god! With like the the yeah. ones with like the purple yeah. octopus on the. Oh pocket. yeah, I think I know. Those things were so awful <laughs> like i'd so like, like what, was I, what was i thinking like i, I dressed like such an idiot well, everyone, still. everyone dressed like big pants big time yeah. my i had like i had big shorts like they were way well if you big. fell out of a plane parachute yeah that mm-hmm. was my whole plan mm-hmm. remember those parachute pants that were like super baggy and then had strings on the side for some reason yeah, were those that was in the early '90s. I don't I don't remember them when we were in school. That, yeah, but. those were like hammer pants. Yeah, no, I'm talking. They were like a like a hot topic version that was popular when we were in high school. No, I remember I don't a few remember kids. Had oh, them. I had uh like with like the real big bottoms, like mm-hmm. real real wide. Yeah, I had I had some of those. Yeah, and like the oh, random yeah. like straps and stuff that were everywhere. That did nothing. They yeah. served no purpose. I had ones that. Uh, like the the white outline that was all over it glowed in the dark. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Okay. Damn. At least that does something. Yeah. It's easier to spot though if you're hiding. That was that was the whole problem. Yeah. Like, oh, Did there you he have is. a mohawk in high school? Yeah, I think freshman year. Those pants were middle school. Like the big poofy pants. Those were all middle school. Oh, okay. When did you have a mohawk? Did you have it in high school? Yeah, that was ninth grade. Okay, gotcha. It was blue, I think. Ninth man. grade mohawk. Now, oh man, there's a kid on the Cobra Kai show who, uh, his nickname is Hawk, and he has a blue mohawk. Nice. Yeah. Stole it from me. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> yes, he stole your style. He's probably way better at karate than you are, though. I don't know. Well, that's yeah. that's yet to be seen. So. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. We're not f- totally familiar with your karate stylings at this point. Exactly. Better watch out, so. so Be- you better not cry. You better not uh, fucking pout. <laughs> I'm telling you why. Come here, I no karate, and I'll kick you. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Such a boy is kicking that face. Uh. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Sage would make the worst Santa Claus. Oh, my God, yeah. He, I don't you'd know. You'd give up. After the third house, you're like, I am so dusty, yeah. full of soot. Well, no, you have magic powers. I don't even powers. fucking like these kids. You got magic powers. These, these people know that I'm coming. If you're the you real... think they would clean mm. their chimney. Nah. <laughs> chimney robot. I bet those wouldn't sell. Oh, they leave me cookies and milk. Good. You know how fucking dirty I am? <laughs> I'm not going to eat this. <laughs> I don't know these people. They put their hands all over these cookies. And they're leaving this... Milk in this glass. Ugh. Leave it in the fridge. I'll get it. It's I know warm. where the milk is. Yeah. I don't want room temperature milk. You fucks. <laughs> you know, put me to sleep. This drinking warm this milk. This is absurd. Disgusting. I've got to drink. I've got to drink this shit at every house too. Disgusting. I'm gonna be full after four houses. <laughs> that is a lot of cookies and milk. Yeah. That's why one of those magic bags is just for him to throw the cookies in. He's not. He just brings them back to the elevator. Oh my god. Yeah, he dumps them out. He's not really that fat. He just has a lot of bags oh, underneath, he... and he just shoves shoves them in. Just oh. poofy clothes. <laughs> he was the original padding. poofy yeah. cloth wearer. Yeah, he's not fat. He's just hoarding cookies. Now, I, now I'm just thinking of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the claymation one, where his wife is like, eat, Santa, eat. The children can't have a skinny Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what is that about? Yeah, yeah, you can. I just have to be fat. He's a jolly old it's man. True. He's gonna have heart problems, maybe. I don't know. You can't be jolly yeah. if you're uh, yeah. not, not. You know, gotta be boxums. You can be skinny and jolly. It's true. 
Maybe. I don't know. I don't, I hey, don't who's know. That? Look at that weirdo running around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're I don't just know crazy. many thin people I would categorize as jolly. Yeah. I don't know. Al's thin and he's pretty jolly. <laughs> um, He's certainly happy. I wouldn't say jolly. But then what qual- but you watch a, What's jolly? You though? watch a... I don't know. You watch like a big guy eating a donut. Like, that's a jolly motherfucker right there. So what? A skinny person eating a donut? It's just, oh, look at that loser to... eating a donut by himself. Well, it also depends on what they say afterwards. Like, oh, I'm being bad. That's not a jolly person. Here's my Uber. That's a cunt. <laughs> no, that's, that's a weird porn. Oh, I'm being bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not porn again, oh, this, sir. You have to leave donut. the. You need to leave the Dunkin' Donuts, sir. Oh, you don't want me here? <laughs> no, actually. Oh, I thought I could have it my way. That's a different story. That's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm just being bad. <laughs> yes, you, te- technically you are, sir. Now you are. Please leave. I w- I work in an office, so like whenever somebody c- brings in says any they're bad. Form of- <laughs> It's Any form of sugar, someone's always like, oh, I was being so good today. And the opposite of good is I'm being bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the other way is a lot less sexy. That's true. Oh, I'm that being is, so good that today. That is very true. Oh, I'm being bad. <laughs> mm, I'm just super <laughs> naughty. All right. All right, everyone's getting turned on right now. Yeah. Hold, That's hold true. it down. Everyone listening and talking. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Al, uh, uh, would you mind stepping out of your room for a moment? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I gotta clean out these pipes. Oh, oh. Pipes. <laughs> Did I take it too these far? These pipes are calling. What's that song? <laughs> what? <laughs> pipes are calling? Is that Dan- I think that's Danny. I think yeah. that's one oh, of the lines oh, from Danny, Danny Boy. Boy. Yeah, Danny Boy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Danny Boy? Danny boy, this, this this sounds like we're talking about someone. Yeah. Oh, Danny boy, yeah. you're like okay. Now I know what you oh, mean. Oh, Danny boy. Oh yeah, Danny boy. Yeah. He used to hang out oh. with us. He'd bring his yeah, good uh, old Danny boy tractor. He'd uh, rake your leaves for five bucks. Yeah, he was a great uh, leaf raker. Yeah, cheap too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Five bucks. A buck for, a buck for uh, the front, buck for the back. That's not wow, five. Two bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Even I know that. That's only three. <laughs> What year is this that he's offering this deal? <laughs> 94. Wow. He's, right. got, he's got to do a lot of houses. Yeah. He's a lot of fucking houses. Shooting himself in the foot, to be completely honest. That's not going to help him, Ray. Okay. No. No. Mm-mm. Don't want to do that. You don't want to shoot yourself in the foot. Um, Speaking of feet, um, do we want to do sticker of the oh. week? No, I wasn't. I wasn't here for that. <laughs> sticker of the week. That's a throwback. <laughs> Do you have a sticker? No, I don't. I just saw there was uh, images you'd sent. Uh, Four twenty-eight. I saw Did some I of have... the stickers. Uh, oh, just reminded me gotcha. of sticker of the week. Hmm. I have so many stickers on this table. It's it's not. Some of them are peeling off, and I just keep. You know, I bet if you broke the top of the table, it'd all stick together. That's how (laughs) tough it is. I don't think so. I wonder if we could ever, like, auction off the table for charity. If anyone would even bid on it. Uh, Charity, like, uh, like 10 bucks. People who got, like, their uh, hands stuck in glue. Now they just got glue hands. Yeah. 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 And they're missing a whole bunch of skin. Yeah, it's uh, I'd be good for that. But they have to be cool with us calling them Captain Glue Hands every time we see them. Yeah, well, cause... they get a captain hat and a jacket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, we're not <laughs> assholes. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you just need a really, I, um, you need a lot of heat to melt the glue. Sorry, what were you saying? This anyway? is this is no, this is so random, but. My uh, my ex girlfriend, I, I was meeting some of her family, and uh, I'll use a different name. I'm gonna use the name uh, Joe. It was her uncle. It was it's her mom's sister. So oh, it's, wait, who's called Joe? <laughs> <laughs> my ex girlfriend, her mother's sister, was married to Joe. His name okay, wasn't really gotcha, Joe. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. It's a fake name, but for some reason, when we went to go visit them the first time, 
we're all sitting the three of us are sitting down for dinner and i go oh is joe gonna be coming and they're like no he's working late and i was like captain joe and it just stuck they (laughs) fucking loved it and he was captain joe for the entirety of my relationship oh my god so much so that we bought him a captain's hat we bought him a little sign that said uh, the captain's chair that you put on the back of his recliner. Right. Like, it was... That's, it that became a like a thing. That's insane. Yeah. That's great. It was so funny. <laughs> Captain Joe. I, we, I wish I had, had a captain's hat. You could. Yeah. I'm, no, not, I don't want your I captain's have stole hat. <laughs> My dirty captain's hat. Everyone's worn that It's hat. Halloween. I'll just go to a Halloween place. Exactly, you can you can remedy this pretty quickly. Yeah, I just need to just go. That's Actually, the there's a ninety nine cent store. Those places that always have the balloons and the golden uh, candles. The one down there. Yeah. By the Chinese place. Yeah. Then I, I don't have know cap- well, Then I have captain's hats. I mean, maybe. I don't know for babies. I think it fit my head. <laughs> <laughs> captain Yamaka. This is for oh, babies. Maybe it's for an extra large baby. Still, <laughs> I think I have a bigger head than an extra large baby. I hope. <laughs> that poor mother. I like the idea that Al doesn't know the difference between babies and, like, toddlers, so he just calls them extra large babies. <laughs> extra large baby. All right, an extra large toddler. <laughs> okay, that's just a <laughs> bad. <laughs> just because you wear a uh, size small doesn't mean everybody else can, Al. I know. In a perfect world. Yeah, I wish, right? <laughs> Is that what size shirt you wear? Smalls? Yeah. Mediums work, but they're a little like, like, ooh, I'm Bag a ghost. ghost. <laughs> 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 I would love to see you in one of Matt's shirts. You would, uh, it would look like you're wearing be jammies. Super comfortable. <laughs> that would be, yeah, it's true. Ooh, fall asleep in them. <laughs> That'd be great. Oh, my God. That really would like you know how you're when you're a little kid you just wear like your dad's t-shirt as pajamas right like that would just be Al now as an adult <laughs> man <laughs> send us some fan arts of Al wearing oversized t-shirts oh I'm gonna be so comfortable mm. oh I can't wait for that it get really on is. it Disney I'm gonna yeah Disney. I'm gonna convince Matt yeah, Disney yeah all shoot, right shoot for the stars okay what are you gonna tell Matt God rest his soul. <laughs> yes, of course, of course. I mean, sure. I'm sure most people have noticed by now. Yeah. Um, I forgot what I was going to say to bring one of his shirts next week, so we can make sure to get it to you, so you can wear it for P- PJs. Oh, nice. I mean, yeah, yeah I'll wear it. <laughs> I'll put it I'll on. Wear it. <laughs> yeah, I'll put that on. I like how aggressively you're agreeing to this. I've been bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Nice. When I was really little, my mom would draw, like, get those, like, the pack of Hanes t-shirts, and she would just draw, like, stuff on our shirts, and that would be our pajamas for my, me and my oh. sister. She was real mean when she, when they were, like, young. She would draw penises all over Nicholas. Oh, my God. That's oh, my stupid. God. Like, yeah, he had no idea. Could you imagine? That would be fucking hilarious. Right? <laughs> I'm going through like some old photo album, and there's just this veiny, throbbing dick across oh my, God. my four-year-old t-shirt. Like, <laughs> Oh, my God. It just says something ridiculous underneath, like Rough Riders or something. I don't know. <laughs> That's why I'm such a big fan of Teddy Roosevelt. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, because he was... Known for having a big cock, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Well, you speak softly and carry a big cock. Oh, That's what I'm okay, I understand. <laughs> um, no, would she draw like animals and like? Yeah, stars? exactly. She draw animals or cartoons. Like I, I guarantee you, she drew a bunch of Barney shit because I loved Barney back in the day Barney. and Lamb Chop. We didn't get it. Lamb Chop? No, Lamb Chop. I loved. I like Lamb yeah. Chop. Barney. Lamb Chop. Like this is Barney. a song that never ends, bro. I like them all. Mr. Rogers. I like Mr. Rogers. Mr. Rogers. I, like I saw Mr. Rogers. Play with the puppets. Mr. I, oh, I saw Mr. <laughs> Rogers. Like, what was that? What, what do you mean like, by that? I don't know. If, wasn't he only on like one day? <laughs> no. I don't think so. No, it was on like every day, but it was. I'm pretty sure he was on PBS oh, before yeah, Lamb Chop. Def- definitely mm. PBS because I didn't have cable. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, Maybe yeah. that's why. I was watching Fox. Yeah, well, I mean, I watched Fox. And not Were you? I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> well, Fox, Fox cartoons. <laughs> uh, oh, I mean, Fox cartoons are like The Simpsons and stuff. That's pretty cool. What was... But, uh, what was wasn't Spider Man? Was that on Fox? Like early? Oh morning? yeah. I don't know if it was. I don't know what station was on. I I don't remember that. But, but I, that I do. Just, that. Yeah, they would. They had like a, I'm pretty sure it was ninety two. They had uh, or ninety two was maybe the X Men animated series, but oh. either one. Oh. They had a Spider Man <laughs> going on and the X Men going on. The X Men got your Spider Man. Like that cartoon was oh oh it was good. The X Men cartoon is such a classic, and that song. I know the yeah, the theme song is perfect. Yeah. Oh man! Like it would just burrow into your brain, and you were like, "Oh, this is so cool! I want to be Cyclops, because he's the best X Men." No, he's not. No, he's not. Face. Who, who, who who's better than Cyclops? Be? In in the show, sure. Yeah, Gambit, hands down. The Card Man. All right, all Gambit, right. Gambit That's is, a great answer. Gambit he is a good. Best. He's pretty. Yeah. To Does, be fair, he's got the cutest girlfriend because Rogue, with the southern accent and whatnot. That, yeah. that was certain. Uh, that was one cartoon that oh, little no. Nikolai was like, oh, no. "Hey man, <laughs> she's cool." <laughs> <laughs> you thought I was gonna be way dirtier, didn't you? <laughs> hey man, she's cool. <laughs> Doctor Octavius <laughs> needs us to get down to the Central Command. <laughs> Dr. Octavius, is that what you just said? Yeah. That's, that's, that's certainly bad, not somebody. That's a bad guy in Spider-Man, right? Who's a Dr. Doc Ock? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Dr. Brain Doc Scan. Yeah. Dr. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to say Professor X? Professor X. <laughs> Dr. Brain Scan. <laughs> Brain scan. Oh, oh, is the worst uh, villain uh, ever. I mean, I'm gonna throw up. Mine is so hard. Oh, Doctor he, Brain. He, he, know, he knows. Batman had like a three-story arc with the Calendar Man, and Doctor Brain Scan is way worse. <laughs> Doctor Brain. Scan. He has to carry around a lot of equipment. Yeah. <laughs> Very. I'll scan ya. Let me just let me set this up. Don't go anywhere. Do you, do you have any? Do you have any metal on you? You can't have any metal on you. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta take it His off. His whole shtick is that after he gives you a CT scan, he tells you you have a tumor. Oh you no! Don't. You yeah. don't actually have one. Ooh, it's the long game. Yes, exactly. He's trying to fuck with you psychologically. <laughs> that son of a bitch. Second opinion. <laughs> Doctor Brain. <laughs> oh, Doctor Brain scan. That, yeah. That fucking that killed me. I'm just thinking about it. <laughs> oh. What outfit do you think he'd wear? Just like oh. a lab coat? Something like... The jeans on? Some spandex where it's just his face popping out, maybe. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> he'd be like... He'd be like Green Man from Always Sunny. Yeah. Just yeah. With his face hole, the with face. A face hole cut out. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, man. The Green Man is so funny. Uh, Green Man! I've never seen the episode. I don't want to do the, acid. The one where they sing about Nightman or Dayman. You mean, ah. you mean the Nightman cometh? Yeah. Great episode. Always sunny, by the way, everyone. Yes. It's uh, arguably one of their best episodes. I think that's got to be in the top, like, three or yeah. four. Uh, yeah, probably. It, I love that show too, so much. You really, you and Matt love that show so much more than I love it more than, more than Matt so does. Funny. <laughs> okay he's right. not here well, to defend himself here. yeah so. So i win <laughs> always sunny or the goonies but that you like which better? one's better oh i would probably i mean i like yeah i like always sunny better probably <laughs> Sage was like no goonies Goonie, yeah goonies is so great but it can go fuck itself when compared yeah, to yeah it's, it's always sunny it's like, easy if the, like, the, yeah if Sage watched goonies as much as they watched always sunny that'd be yeah That'd be a problem. Yeah, it'd be weird. Always yeah. Sunny is like, oh, I can put on an just episode, throw on any episode, and it's fine. It's like, I just love a young Josh Brolin. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't? I, 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 me, apparently. Is he yeah. the um the guy in uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off? No, w- definitely who not. In that, do you think Josh, Josh Brolin? 
Who do you think Josh Brolin is in Ferris Bueller's Day Off? Do you think Josh uh, Brolin plays Ferris. Josh Brolin Ferris? in that movie? <laughs> <laughs> you think he's Ferris? What? You had this poster on your that wall. Is, that is very famously Matthew Broderick. Are you talking about Are one you? of the people? <laughs> I don't know. One oh. of the people on Sunny is called Josh. Right? No. Is that what you're talking no. about? No. Oh. What That's I? what I thought you were saying. I didn't say anything about Josh. <laughs> You said a name though. Josh, Josh Brolin. Yeah, you just said Josh. <laughs> uh, what the fuck's going on? Welcome to RLF, everyone. We're the very. Oh, best. you said welcome to RLF. It cut out. Welcome oh, to now RLF. I did. But yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're all discombobulated without Matt. Yeah, he was the glue. That's true. You know what'll get us back on track? What? Listening to Tommy Gunn sing oh. and doing some damn comedy. I'm not on board with that. Well, we're doing it. The videos on YouTube have a place called the comment section Where people can type out heartfelt and thoughtful reflections Of the videos they just watched Like here at our left on Wednesdays Now the gang will read a few It's really hard to rhyme the word Wednesdays <laughs> In your face, Sage! In your face! Mm-hmm. All right, so uh, uh, yeah, didn't everyone, like that. Uh, everyone seemed to enjoy the uh, episode last week. I think we got some good comments. Nicholas. I mean, I really think that we should just go as weird as possible because everyone really dug last week's episode. Nice. I didn't look at any butthole comments. candy and whatnot. Let's get uh, too weird. I really, I really didn't go this overboard. Week. Sometimes I actually do. This week I didn't. Okay, it's fine. Yeah. Well, now it's a surprise, so it's better. Yeah. I mean, speaking of how much everybody loved it, Juan's and Roses, which is just a great name. <laughs> I do like I mean, that. it's outstanding. I do like that. <laughs> Juan's and Roses writes, best episode ever. Oh, wow. Hearing you guys talk about buttholes, how Nikolai behaves during intercourse, <laughs> and spiders coming out of sex organs. Ugh. It's too delightful. Great job, guys. Thanks, Juan. That description doesn't make me want to listen to last week. Not necessarily, but it did make me funny because I don't remember exactly describing how I behaved during intercourse. Oh, there was but... it was in there. Oh, was I it? I don't okay. doubt it. Well, no, it was a split second. I remember. <laughs> I just snuck it in real yeah. quick. I was just like, I breathe heavy. And then that's it, I moved. <laughs> oh, are we having intercourse? <laughs> <laughs> well that way you know you're breathing that's true that, that way you know you're not dead <laughs> <laughs> oh this this must be a trick from the devil or jesus or something if i'm having sex uh, i better breathe all weird yeah. know i'm alive <laughs> that's right ladies if you're ever interested in having sex with me just get one of those weird noise machines and yeah. <laughs> break it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what or weird get noise a machines that sound like a person breathing? I know they have no, them they for like, whales I just thought it was stuff. nice imagery. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, some people might like it, actually. Yeah, you know, it's nice, I'm sorry, what? Some people might like it. We should uh, make an app for that. It's a nice white I noise guess. when you're going to sleep. The name of the, the name of the white noise will be Nikolai's sex breath. <laughs> <laughs> Just relax while you go to sleep. <laughs> That's right. Close those eyes. <laughs> we now have different seasons. Enjoy the sounds of Christmas in the background. <laughs> Brr. The same thing, just Christmas music behind him. <laughs> jingle bells, jingle. <laughs> oh my god! I can't, stop, I can't stop laughing while doing it. And now I'm, it's so ridiculous. I'm genuinely trying to give it like a longer audio sample, and I just start laughing. Oh. <laughs> And introducing the New Year's Countdown. 
Ten, nine, eight, seven. Oh. oh my god, that reminds me of when, I, when we did the chicken noise. I don't even know how it goes anymore. <laughs> Something like Wait, I just remember it hurt my throat. <laughs> I wasn't throat. here for the chicken noise. No, you, I thought you were here for chicken. No, you definitely were here for the oh, chicken noise. Chicken. That was only a few months ago. Oh, maybe you just didn't like the chicken. <laughs> maybe you're yeah, a turkey I person. Would, I, I think I would just do like a, a like a vomiting sound or something. <laughs> 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 oh, well, Juan's and Roses, not only congratulations on the best name we've had this week, but uh, <laughs> I'm glad this that episode was for you. <laughs> First name. <laughs> it's the best one we've had this week so far. <laughs> <laughs> a good, a quick runner-up is from uh, One Bird, Two Stones. Hey, well, if it isn't my favorite podcast with my favorite hosts, Seich, Al, and Nikolai. Whoa, that, I mean, that's good. Yeah, it is good. It, it happened to be a perfect pot, uh, perfect comment for this week because nah, he I, left off the. I wish Matt was here. Yeah, for that. I think Matt. So, I know. I, wish to, I, want to, I like when he's hurt. Well, we can bring it up next week. I like when his feelings are hurt. It's not going <laughs> to be the same next week. <laughs> it won't be as fresh. Yeah. That's true. It won't be this, as uh, painful next week, but we we'll definitely can still bring it up. <laughs> oh, I always try. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for that. Two birds, uh, one bird, two stones. Got it. Uh, conspiracy writes, what's the weight of this bus doing on my chest? That joke fucking killed me. Thumbs up. I was, I'm pretty sure I was the one who said that when Matt was throwing me under the bus last week. Yes. And, yes. Um, yeah. So I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad that, that one made you laugh. Conspiracy. <laughs> um, our dear friend Sarah Leal writes, "Hell yeah, Seich, I love the crow. Fucking right. Crow's great. And I know how to kill it now." Yeah, it's just a crow. You just kill it. Yeah. yeah well, I don't know. Just, I don't know. Just I don't know. Birds and two stones. Just a bird. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'll get that bird. Crossbow. You. Crossfit. What? Crossbow crossfit. That's. I jump. Prob- and... I mean, I guess probably, yeah, you could. If you do. So you just start randomly doing pull ups with the crossbow? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> you hook it to like a doorway and then somebody makes a video that they put on Tosh.0. Sorry. <laughs> Can't use the bathroom now. <laughs> <laughs> I got a pee. I'm, I'm CrossFit. I'm cross, cross. CrossFitting with a crossbow. I'm doing that thing where you swing your legs really erratically. Oh, you know, nice. CrossFit. <laughs> well, thanks. Um, so, yeah, thanks, I, Sarah Leo. Thanks. I'm glad you I liked had, the Crow uh, a as well. Quick one, Nikolai. Yeah, that'll um, be our last one because the last one I brought this week was for Matt, but he was the son of a bitch. You so. mother That's trucker, true. Matt. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We um. Uh, Juan Martinez, who did leave a comment, and we did go over it, but it was the week that we lost some audio, says, I appreciate you guys so much, and uh, thanks thanks very much, Juan. I'm glad we could uh, always give you some chuckles, and uh, thanks for listening, yeah. Juan. Oh, that's, that's what you're going to end it on? Yeah. A bit, yeah. I'll say thanks to Juan. <laughs> <laughs> it's not uh, Juan's and Roses, but, you yeah. know, Juan Martinez. That's... Yeah, it'll stay with you, though. Juan I mean... will stay with you. I don't want him to it's stay. True. I don't want him to stay with us. While he's here. No. <laughs> if I'm having a if I'm having a shit day later in the week, I'm going to think of Mr. Ju- Martinez. Yeah. I mean, I I know, you, like, of us. you go for it. Not like that, you freak. Hey, I didn't go there. You went there. I was just You saying, went there. I didn't say it. And what what did I say? It I said, said uh, you go for D&D it. D&D group. You started a D&D group together. Yeah, I guess mm-hmm. you can do that. Well, yes. well I, yes. I guess that does it for comments. Thanks everyone. <clears throat> yeah, dude. Yeah, thanks a lot. I, I'm really glad we got a lot of comments last week. I'm really glad that last week's episode resonated with so many people. I hope this one uh, does a little bit worse. It won't. Yeah, we're gonna fall off. <laughs> I feel like we're gonna fall off. <laughs> yeah, it's true. We we've barely discussed uh, butthole candy from animals. So yeah. Well, you don't. Well, actually, Matt's not here. We could do baby time. Baby time. Ooh, baby talk. Baby talk. Not baby time. Baby talk. I didn't. I wasn't here for baby talk. You guys baby are just bringing up baby time. Talk, I, baby talk. Now with Seich. I don't know what. I don't know how to baby talk. I don't want to do this. I hate it. I hate it so much. Seich, if you're gonna, um, how do you, a, a baby's crying? What do you? What's one thing you can do? You hey baby, stop crying. Why are you crying? You. Just, it's not bad. Okay. It's not bad. You can re- you can reason with the baby. All right, you are gonna have a baby that is gonna 
for some reason be royalty. Ooh. Does that change the name that you're going to give this baby? Probably. It's got to. No. Right? For me, yes. No, fuck that. For you me, give, yes, as well. You, no, I would name it whatever. What are you naming it, John? I, have no, I don't know. I'm not having it's a an baby. answer right now for royalty. I'm not having a baby. I don't need to know these things. It's true. Sykes Jr.? No. No juniors. Get away from the juniors. You junior. know what I think is weird? When um, people don't use junior, they use the second. And I was like, we got a word for that. It's junior. No, it's se- <laughs> sounds a lot more fancy. It's, I, li- it I does, think I might like it's second. pretentious. I don't know. I could see the second. I just don't know a lot of seconds. Uh, I'm gonna. So you're gonna you're gonna have Al Chesbury to the second. Maybe. I'm gonna. I'm gonna <laughs> have. I'm gonna do Sight the sequel. The sequel number two. Sight two electric boogaloo. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's electric boogaloo. <laughs> Every sequel electric boogaloo. That's what's it. what's the actual something something two electric? Is it flash dance? No, nah, breaking two. Breaking Break two, into yeah. Electric Boogaloo. Yes. Yep. Wow. Okay. They did that. They did that movie on uh, How Did This Get Made. Now I remember. Hey, now I got those member pretty. berries. Member. Um, if I if I knew for some reason that my child was going to be royalty, I would probably go with some basic ass name like like Edward or William or Ooh, something. Or Flinton. Ooh, Flinton. Not Flinton. 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 Cumberberry. Flinton. <laughs> Flinton Cumberberry. It's a strong name. Yeah. It's a healthy that name. Sounds like a, that sounds like a delicious pie. Yes. Yeah. A Cumberberry pie. Ooh. It's slice a, me up a you slice. You find out that it's it's very tart. Mmm, <laughs> too tart. Put some ice cream on mm. it. It's yes, like, just to need a little oh. a la mode. Oh, I've man. got none of those things. You don't have you win a pie or ice cream. <laughs> Ooh, I well, got that. especially considering crumbenberry is not a real thing. Well, now yeah, we'll get yeah. there though. Yes, yeah. The future. You yeah. just wait. Is bright. <laughs> you just wait. <laughs> um. Did you guys watch? Yeah, right. Oh, <laughs> dead air wolf. So, did you guys watch any movies this week? Um, yeah, I watched one. I watched one. I've been going. Ooh, I watched two. I've been going. Crazy on Tony Hawk. I Don't can't stop. Think yeah, I watched it. Dude, anything. lots of Tony. You Hawk and me there. both, Sister Mary Brown. Mm. I cannot stop playing Tony Hawk on uh, the PlayStation Four. It is so f- much fucking. I, fun. I did the uh, like the single session, like where you just skate mm-hmm. and see how high you get. I forgot what course was. Okay. I got like four hundred ninety-one thousand. <laughs> Jeez, I went nuts. Oh my god, I was ranked like nine thousand. Damn, that's pretty low for like. For like the amount of people that play, there's so many. It's like people get like 100 million or some shit. I'm like, those people are cheating. Yeah, I'm like, you gotta be cheating. Y'all cheating. Yeah, that's got to be like somebody who has perfect balance on or something. Tony Just, Hawk yeah. should come Switching. to your house and knock you out. Mm-hmm. He should. Mama said, knock you out. Mm-hmm. Tony said, knock you out. <laughs> Someone. I'm gonna getting... knock you out. Yeah. I think that's how the song goes. Yeah, I think originally. Mm-hmm. And then the government changed it. I'm not much. Oh. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Obama. <laughs> <laughs> I like saying that still, just because it, like, I don't know, it's just funny sounding. Yeah. Especially since he hasn't been president he wasn't for president. four years. Not at all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Um, so, what was the movie you watched, Seitch? Um, <clears throat> It was Due Date, which I told, I think I told Ooh. you about. You told me about it, and I thought you were talking about it. did. Magicians or something. Uh, tap dancing. Yeah, right. tap dancing. Yeah. But yeah, due date. What? <laughs> why? Why would you assume that it was a movie about tap dancers? Because uh, Seitz mentioned about pregnancy. We, tap dancing. Yeah, we were outside and I was. Uh, <clears throat> I did like a little tap dancing. And I was like, oh, I've been tap dancing on the on the lowdown. And he was like, really? I was like, nah. <laughs> and then. But then I ke- I kept believing it. And then like we we started talking about the movies. I was like, oh, I only have one movie this week. And then he thought I was talking about tap dancing, tap dancing moves. where thought he had one tap dancing. Like, move yeah, one down. movie with tap dancing, and it was due date. And he's like, "What?" Oh. <laughs> you thought it was some like uh, tap dancing two electric boogaloo? Yeah. Stuff? yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> Always. <laughs> um, how was due date? Oh, it's great. It's great. I love it. Funny movie. That's right. I saw um, clips of it from my room. Yeah. That's uh, Todd Phillips before he made the Joker dancing film. 
There was not that much dancing in this. Well, wait. Maybe zero dancing. Is that the one with uh, Robert Downey Jr.? Yeah, and Zach Galifianakis. Okay, gotcha. So good. I love that movie so much. It's um, it's probably I think it is considered a dark comedy, but it's not like super dark. It's a, it's right. not like no there one's isn't dying. Like a lot of tragedy. Yeah, exactly. But um, my favorite cameo in the film is um, Dan- <clears throat> excuse me, Danny McBride. Um, he works at the Western Union, and I think they're somewhere in the South. And uh, <laughs> he he doesn't like Robert Downey Jr. or Zach Galifianakis, so he's like, "All right, you guys got to leave. I'm closing." <laughs> and they're, they're like, "It's six thirty-five. What do you mean you're closing?" <laughs> and he goes, "I got a reservation for uh, Chili's with my boys." Like what? Who makes a reservation at Chili's? He's like, "What? It's Wednesday. Chili's fills up fast." Oh, I love that. He was he was love great. that scene, and then he beats the shit out of them. Oh, it's so fucking funny. Damn. Oh, oh that, that move. That whole movie is pretty funny. At a certain point, like the third act isn't hilarious or anything, but it's still very entertaining. It's heartwarming. But the. For me, the funniest scene is the Danny McBride cameo, and then when they're drinking the coffee with Jamie Foxx. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Get out of my house. Zach Galifianakis. Uh, get him out. Get, get, get him his the dog, fuck out. the beard. Get him out of here. <laughs> <laughs> What's uh, one of your favorite scenes, Sage? Uh, <laughs> when uh, Jamie Foxx is picking up Robert Downey Jr., uh-huh. and then he's... Uh, Robert Downey Jr. screaming at Zach Galifianakis, and then he spits on his dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he gets in the car. He's like, "Did you spit on his dog?" He's like, "What? Did I? I, 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 I blacked out. I don't know what happened." <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then, and then no, no, this is the best part. I just remember this. It's the same, like, scene pretty much. Like when he calls him over to the window. And he's like, all right, I'm going to say one thing. And then he's uh, Zach Galifianakis. He's like, oh, you're going to apologize? Or are oh, you ready to apologize? Rob Townsend is like, what? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> it's, such, it's such a hearty <laughs> Fuck you. It was so good. Oh, my God. I genuinely love that movie. And uh, like most Todd Phillips films, he makes a cameo appearance. He's uh, the... Like the drug dealing boy- boyfriend, Juliette Lewis is the drug dealer in yeah. North Carolina. With Robert Downey Jr. punches her kid in the oh, stomach. No, yeah, oh, I love that part God. too. <laughs> <laughs> oh. T- tell your mom we had fun or I'll thump you again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh so such a fucked up movie. So funny. Um, I watched. So this was really interesting. It's on Netflix. And it's called A Futile and Stupid Gesture. Um, yeah, it's about a while ago, I think. Yeah, that, was that? Oh, okay. It's about Doug Kenny and Henry Beard, who are two real-life guys who started the National Lampoon right, Museum. Right, right, um, yeah. Magazine. Magazine. There we go. Third time's the charm. Um, Will Arnett... Will, uh, no, it's not Will Arnett. It's Will Forte plays Doug Kenny. And Henry Beard is played by that Irish redheaded actor who seems to be in everything with a weird name dunham or something like that dunhamel i don't know i can't say it anyway he's a, he's an amazing actor <laughs> yeah he's an amazing actor and the film itself it, it's odd like the way they shot it is a little bit slapsticky like because they break the fourth wall yeah, quite a few times too, yeah. and stuff but at the same time it's it's great. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, um, it was a very. Good I thought, movie. and a lot of those guys, a lot of the actors and actresses who played who portrayed famous people, like I didn't realize that most of the people who were on the original cast for SNL worked for National Lampoon for the radio show. Right. So in the movie, you got a guy doing a John Belushi. You have um, Joel McHale plays Chevy Chase and. There's a whole bunch of different famous people who play other real life famous people from the 70s and 80s, and it's pretty fascinating. Like yeah, it, was it looks cool. like they're having so much fun doing those impressions. Yeah, I remember watching it. Was, <clears throat> it and was the guy, good. Who, yeah, the guy who does Rodney Dangerfield, 
t- wins the prize for best impression by far. That guy, in my opinion, crushes. His danger field is spot fucking on. It's so good. Rodney Dangerfield. <laughs> it's better than that. <laughs> 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 are you just saying his name? You're, are you looking up because you don't know who he is? I think I know who he is. From Caddyshack. I hope you do. Back to school. It's me. Right? Back to school. Rodney Dangerfield. Back, oh, absolutely. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I, I, school, I don't remember if that I was know. the name of it or not. Now I see yeah. his face. Yeah. See that Dangerfield face. is the king. Yeah, you're so funny. <clears throat> but, uh, Apparently he was no notorious for i listened to bob saget on uh i listened to bob saget on joe rogan and dangerfield was notorious for hanging out backstage before comedy shows just naked in his robe <laughs> and like every comedian saw his balls oh my god yeah. nice that's how i want to live <laughs> then wait would he have to so, so would he change back into not in clothes? front of people i mean he would put clothes on to go on on stage probably exactly yeah but like he'd have you cut co- like he'd have the co- comedian come like hang out in his dressing room and like he'd have his legs crossed and his balls would be hanging out right right yeah okay that's what happens saggy balls yeah exactly that's what show- showbiz does to you or mm-hmm. just life, life i guess yeah i guess so probably both i feel like showbiz would Drag those nuts down a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Dragging them nuts down. <laughs> like caveman knuckles. Oh, that's too okay. much. Dragging. <laughs> that was too far. I got it. Too that much. was too far, you, you know? Never wear shorts that's three weeks in a row where I just totally swung and missed. <laughs> yeah. but, all right, you know? <laughs> I just had the thought of how much they would be just how much hanging pull? down. Mm-hmm. So, oh, be b- pretty painful. It'd but, be a um, day to re- remember. Yeah, be more than a day. It'd be <laughs> life. What are you kidding me? <laughs> well, uh, I mean, That's maybe true. after one day, you're like, oh, I, I got to figure something out. <laughs> I got to change this. Just invest in ice and keep freezing your nutsack so it just keeps, you know. Nah, fuck that. You got coiling like, back in. You got to like get like a, a strap thing to like What's... harness them up or some shit. Yeah, that works. Yeah. That could work. You get um like uh, they attach to overalls. They <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know why overalls, but okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, you get the most uh, liftage for your buck. Mm. What's oh, what's that, that around sense. your neck? Oh, uh, my my <laughs> my ball overalls. It's my my ball bag. You don't have to tell them that. Uh, Just say it's overalls, you weirdo. But then they're like, I'm looking at you. You're not wearing overalls. Oh, it's on my testicles. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right, because they would go underneath. <laughs> they yeah. kept scraping on the ground, so I just threw them over my shoulder. Well, you oh, could say... Um, gross. Oh, God. I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it happens. I guess, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Hopefully not that. often. No. But, yeah, you could do that. That would be a real bummer. Yeah. Well... Well, well, that, now we know um, how to solve it. So. Yeah. Yeah. so what I found most fascinating and the reason why I watched this uh, futile and stupid gesture is because I didn't realize that the same guy, Doug Kenny, wrote Animal House and then Caddyshack. Right. Yeah, and yeah. I thought that was super fascinating. And then to find out that how like he just tragically passed away young, spoilers, I guess. Um, yeah, it was such a bummer. Like You're like, wow, this guy was... Yeah, fucking definitely comedy a genius. Sad ending. Yeah, good movie. But um, mm-hmm. yeah, it was pretty good. Absolutely. Uh, the other movie I watched was uh, Dress to Kill. It was a Ooh. 1980s horror fl- film. It's um. So I I'm a fan of Brian De Palma, but I had no idea how big a fan I was of his. Mm-hmm. He has directed Carrie, the original one from the 70s, Scarface, The Untouchables, Carlito's Way, which is one of my favorite movies. And the first Mission Impossible. This dude's got a sick career. Like, I did not realize he did had directed all of those things. Well, there he is. He's got all these movies. Yeah, right? So he wrote and directed Dress to Kill. And it was, like, the most popular horror movie from that year, apparently. And it's because it's got a pretty great twist ending that I, 
I kind of unfortunately saw it coming because I looked something up on the internet, but at the same time, like it was, it was pretty fascinating. Like I thought it was a good, good, uh, the movie itself. What are you going to say about the movie? The movie itself, like the dialogue leaves a lot to be desired from time, from time to time. You want to get some burgers? Yeah, let's get some burgers. (laughs) Burgers. I love pickles on my burger. Yeah, it's a lot of burger talk. <laughs> a lot of burger talk. Especially the detectives and stuff. So much burger talk. Yeah, um, yeah put uh, two cigarettes <laughs> on my burger. <laughs> <laughs> I need a liter of coffee. Ooh, I'm going to pull an all-nighter. That's, that's the good part. Yeah. Mm. That'd be too much coffee, I feel like. <laughs> oh, I'd be pooping. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Would you? Yep. Oh, I would. Straight pooping. Yeah, straight. No no get up. <laughs> What's your nickname? Straight pooping. Straight pooping. It's a hell of a nickname. Yeah, it's very it's healthy. Yeah, straight pooping. Straight oh, pooping. <laughs> yeah, did not get um, on the movie train, so next week, maybe. Okay. Probably not. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably not as right, but Dress to Kill is, uh, I, w- I would recommend it All if right. you're in the mood for a, a slow-paced sci-fi thriller. Not sci-fi, a slow-paced horror thriller. And a good twist, which I'm intrigued about now. Come on, baby. A, a decent A decent, a decent okay twist. twist that you may, yeah. that we may guess. But I, I have to warn you that the heart, like the, the action scenes are horrific. They, we, if you are used to watching movies from nowadays or even the, in the past twenty years, it, it's bad. The, the makeup is bad. <laughs> like, the action is is almost non-existent. It's not great. Well, it's getting to that like, horror season, so I'm, I'm gonna be, that's exactly yeah, that's what right. I might check it. it out. Nice. Yeah, gotta get some of that pumpkin beer. Mm, just got a whole pumpkin. Mm-hmm. Nope. Mm-hmm. My job has so many pumpkins, but nothing else for Halloween. Really? Yeah, it's stupid. Really? I hate it because I love looking at the Halloween shit. And just yeah, nothing. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing. Huh. Hmm. That's weird. It's fucking st- oh, it's stupid. I hate it. Yeah, Maybe that's... it's your fault. Probably. They're like, oh, I bet that, bet that dude likes looking at Halloween shit. <laughs> just do the pumpkins. Yeah, just, put, just, just get a <laughs> pumpkin. Just the pumpkins. Only give him pumpkins. Give a fuck about pumpkins. <laughs> That's a good you know what song. I give a fuck about? What? Big city living, living it up in that big mother. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, how is big city living? So yeah, yeah it's all right. No, that was big city living. <laughs> skibbly doo. Ooh, skibbly doo. Ooh. I uh, scattered at the end there. Um. I mean, we got a fostering a, a puppy. Yeah, there's a dog here now. Fostering, fostering a little pup. I love the language you use there. We gotta foster this little puppy. <laughs> we gotta. So, <laughs> so I know the background. But if I didn't, that would just say to me that this was not your decision. <laughs> no, well, I was going to say we got a dog, but then I'm like, it's not really ours. Okay, I got you. Yeah. So then I was like, we got a, yeah. yeah, we're fostering this yeah, dog. Yeah, we're fostering that dog. So now how does this work? Like, it's two weeks, it's, we just it, take care of yeah, it. Yeah, it's here, and then it won't be here. Yeah. Okay, then, so this is just to like keep the dog rotating out of right. shelter so he doesn't get put down or yeah. something? Yeah. I guess. Okay. That's until good. he finds like a like a TV show that'll hire him. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, that's there's a huge demand for um, foster pups for TV shows. Yeah. Hey, it's you, wild. you never know. It's wild. It's really sad though, because right after age four, that's like the TV business is totally not interested in them. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's, yeah it's disgusting. And they get into drugs and <laughs> alcohol and, and rough kibbles and bits. Oh, so oh. much kibbles. Too much bits. <laughs> I set them up, you knock them down. <laughs> so yeah. that's cool. What's the dog's name? Shine. Shine. With a Y. That's terrible. So it's oh. S-Y-I-N-E. Oh, wow. I don't like that. Yeah, dude. S-Y-I-N-E? <laughs> yeah, it was a shine with a Y. There's no H I, in um, there? That's <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> oh. I um I haven't met this dog, but based off the name, which I 
would like to reiterate, I do not like. I feel like the dog and I would get along. It's, it's, it's real hard not to. Yeah, you'd have to actively. Yeah. He's, it's a, that's all he you'd wants. You'd have to say like, something mean to the dog. Like something racist, probably. Yeah. Okay. Seems like he'd okay. be real against racism. Yeah. <laughs> He's super cool with everyone. Just walk in and be like, listen, I hate Bavarian people, dog. He'd be like, oh, Just can't stand them. Whoa, oh, easy. Easy. <laughs> that's what I'll say. I don't like the way they <laughs> smell. I don't like their cooking. Hey, hey, come on. Come on. Yeah. Gotta stop. And don't, don't you get me started on those damn Greenlanders. Oh, Ooh-wee. that's where I draw the line. That's where I draw the line. Ooh. Bunch t- of Greenland um, Look, hey, they bastards. Ha- they have the Jolly Green Giant. We don't want to anger them. They do, don't all they? Right. Yeah. It's all right. Jack took care of his giant, the beanstalk. He just kicked it down the... You can't what? kill a Jolly Green beanstalk. Giant, then we won't have vegetables. Yeah. He's pretty the sure source that's not how that works. of vegetables. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's the one that... Uh, he's, that's why he's on all the cans. Well, we could take him down. Yeah, he's a god. <laughs> yeah, the god of vegetables. Yeah, so he's easy to take down. He's the avatar of vegetables? Yeah. He's not easy to take <laughs> down. He's a giant. We just got a... Swamp Thing, take Swamp thing is the avatar of the green, and he's the avatar of vegetables. Yes. Yeah, exactly. See, he There's gets some, it. There's some crossover there, but it's fine. It'll work itself yeah, out. Yeah. yeah, we don't have to. We're not in breach of any copyright. Yeah, it's different enough that we won't Good. get sued. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. How about you, Al? Do you have any uh, fun adventures in uh, um, New Moon City? No, nothing has happened. Great. All, all right. I, all I've been doing, I just can't stop playing Tony, Tony Hawk. Hawk. It's it's very addicting. <laughs> it's so. Good. You had to unlock all the levels, and then you got to do all the other mm-hmm. stuff. I get fuck. I still got a shit to unlock. Damn. I, uh, it's too hard. I'm not good enough. That's the problem. Yeah, it is. It's it's actually like. I remember struggling with it when I was a kid, like getting all of the challenges completed. Could you but, have to do to unlock like the secret level? You have to get I think mm-hmm. all the goals on one game. Like, oh. Either yeah. one or two. Jesus. Forget that. Yeah, it's tough. It is definitely tough. I, I don't understand what the those floating Vs are for. I have no idea. But I, I get them and it doesn't do anything. <laughs> no, like it, nothing. it's probably going to pay off somewhere. Are they wings? Are they the wing things or no? No, like no the, wing thi- the wings are in one level. It's like the hangar. Okay. Mm-hmm. But these are just random Vs that are just hmm. there. I don't know, dude. Is it Tony Hawk? Yeah, 5? it's super weird. No, it isn't. Never mind. It's yeah, a re- one in two. <laughs> I know. This guy. This guy. Sorry, I don't know my hawks. Is it five? You're drunk. I started doing like uh, <clears throat> the challenge shit with other skaters. Okay. Like getting there, unlocking their boards and trying to get their different clothes and shit. Oh, it's such a good. Thing. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I mean, I I really enjoy playing it. You know what? I'm gonna go play it now. See you guys later. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, wait, he's gone. Oh, he hung up on us. We heard him. (laughs) Oh, man, that noise. the PlayStation? Yeah, that's the noise of him leaving. (laughs) 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 It was supposed to be the door, but I suck at noises. (laughs) Oh, I could hear, like, a creaky door. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but I know the door. See, Al gets it. I know the door doesn't creak. Or does it? Kind (laughs) of. Not really. It doesn't creak, but I just went for it. But in this, yeah. Well, gentlemen, unfortunately, it is that time again. Time to uh, break out our favorite guns and uh, go go shooting around the neighborhood. My favorite gun is the one from Roger Rabbit with the talking bullets. Oh, God, I don't want uh, any of that. You know that. what? That, what did you say, Al? It's terrifying. Terrifying? I love that gun. That was it's one terrifying. of the best parts of the movie. Nah, 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 nah. Look, if I need a gun, I don't want to be there. Oh, you nailed it. Did this you, guy. Didn't even see it coming.